Now to that new trouble for the NFL, a major test of its new personnel, a personal conduct policy. Indianapolis Colts linebacker Josh McNary charged with sexual assault just days before the team's big game for a chance to play in the Super Bowl. ABC's Ryan Smith is here with that story. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Robin. After what could be one of the worst public relations years for the NFL with domestic violence scandals involving Ray Rice and Adrian Peterson dogging the league, now Josh McNary's charges for rape coming just before one of the NFL's biggest weekends of the year. The Colts have advanced to the AFC Championship game. This morning, as the Indianapolis Colts prepare to face the New England Patriots Sunday for a shot at the Super Bowl, Colts linebacker Josh McNary charged with rape, criminal confinement, and battery. This really will be a way to test if the NFL is serious about this new policy. According to police documents, the alleged victim says she was drinking at an Indianapolis bar December 1st when she met a man and later ended up at his apartment, though she doesn't recall how. She claims a physical fight ensued, followed by the sexual assault. Eventually, she says she managed to grab the man's cell phone and leave. It was that phone that led police to McNary. And when they arrived to question him, they say he replied, I know why you're here, gesturing to his bedsheets, saying, I preserved it for you because I knew you would be coming. McNary's attorney releasing this statement overnight. Joshua McNary unhesitatingly denies all accusations made against him. Now the NFL telling ABC News that the case is under review under their new personal conduct policy, implemented in December. The policy says players charged with violent crimes may be placed on leave without pay following an investigation. If they announce and he still is playing, um, that would be a shock to me. And the Colts telling us overnight, at this time we are very concerned and trying to find out what the relevant facts are, but we have insufficient information to venture any opinion. McNary, a West Point grad who spent two years on active duty before joining the Colts, was taken into custody last night and released. Now, on the felony charges he faces, if convicted, he could face significant prison time. And the NFL can take action after an investigation, which could take some time. Right. They've got to do that investigation first, but you have to wonder, will they act quickly before this game this weekend? We'll see. All right, Ryan, thank you.